This easy SAT question has ended more perfect score dreams than any other. Think you won't fall for it? Here it is. Two to the power of X a bunch of times equals two to the power of seven. Solve for X. Your brain goes, oh, this is K. Same basis. Just add the exponents, right? So you confidently write two to the power of four. X equals two to the power of seven. Wait, do you see what just happened? You just walk straight into the trap that catches 73% of students. Look at those plus signs again. We're adding, not multiplying. You can only combine exponents when you're multiplying terms with the same base. Here's what's really happening. Happening. Four identical terms of two to the power of x. That's not two to the power of four x. That's four times two to the x. So our equation becomes four times two to the power of x equals two to the power of seven. Now we're cooking. Two to the power of seven equals 128. So two to the power of x equals 128 divided by four, and that equals 32. What power of two gives us 32? Well, two to the power of one equals two. Two is four. Three is eight. Four is 16. And five is 32. Boom. X is five. The question wasn't testing your exponent rules. It was testing whether you'd panic and forget the difference between addition and multiplication. Just dodge the trap that kills perfect scores. Follow me for more SAT mind tricks that'll save you from every hidden pitfall they throw at you.